gang, man. Welcome back to the channel. Listen, YouTube. Congratulations to the Kansas City Chiefs, bro. They won the 2024 Super Bowl, bro. They did beat the 49ers, bro. So it ain't what it is. I know some of y'all won some bets. Some of y'all lost some. But listen, we all woke up here today, so we all blessed. Look, man. Shout out to my bro, Yeah, I'm Stacy, bro. He just dropped a video on the Super Bowl performance, and we got to react to that, bro. We got to get to that, bro. So without further ado, let's jump right in. We ain't going to waste no time, man. Let's go. As you guys know, the Super Bowl was last night, and everyone's really talking about two moments. The Travis Kelsey bump on Andy Reid, we're going to cover that. But right now, we're talking about Alicia Keys being on stage with us. Bro, this is a crazy picture, bro. If this is your wife, if Alicia Keys is your wife, bro, you punching a screen, you punching a TV, bro. There's no way you ain't throw your cup at the screen when you saw this, bro. Unless you just a real secure human being. Like, Swiss Beats gotta be real secure, bro, because I ain't even gonna lie. This hug look too intimate. Like, this definitely that work bestie hug that niggas tell you about. And them bumping and grinding to my boo. Now, everybody been joking all night about this and Swiss Beats had to wake up in the morning to say this right here. Y'all talking about the wrong damn thing. Y'all don't see that amazing dress covering the entire stadium. Tonight's performance was... Listen, we saw it all. We love the performance. Your wife did amazing. You know, her voice might have cracked a little bit, but Alicia Keys, amazing. We love her. You know what I'm saying? Usher, amazing. We love him, bro. The performance was dope. But that don't take away from the fact that Alicia Keys is a married woman and we see Usher bricked up on her butt. They D to B right now. Dick the butt. You know what I'm saying? but amazing with two amazing giants congrats usher and my love alicia keys that song is a classic we don't do negative vibes on this side we make history go see giants at brooklyn museum it's open until july blessing listen i'm glad usher's secure bro I'm my fault swiss beats i'm glad swiss beats is secure enough to come on here and tell us to stop being negative because it'd have been nothing but negativity in that house if this was me you know what I'm saying? Like, nothing but negativity. Did y'all have to end the performance with a with a couple hug like this, bruh? This is tight, bro. His his yaki is on her butt, nigga. Yak the butt right now. I'm, I'm feeling away if I'm Swiss, nigga. So on the screen, y'all see that. And that's Mr. Take Your Girl. Don't leave your girl around me to play it for real. Ask my nigga for real. That's that he's referring to. Dress was fire. Posts a picture of his wife and us, you know, doing their thing. I guess it's the equivalent of watching your wife in a movie. Have oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's just, if, you were, if your wife is an actor or your husband is an actor, you expect to go see them act like another person. But this is a performance. This is Alicia Keys and Usher performing. They're not acting. So y'all didn't have to be cock the butt. Romantic scene, but boy, I'm pretty sure it's hard every single time. It's hard every single time. And Swiss Beats, I hear you. Nah, Alicia Keys looking amazing, though. Shout out to Alicia Keys, bro. Looking amazing. God damn, that's a natural woman, too. But we about to get to these jokes, man. But first, Boosie was pissed off, man. One thing about the internet, if you ain't mad, other people gonna get mad for you. So Boosie posts this picture, says, Usher, enough is enough, bro. You need to apologize to Swiss. She married my nigga. I know that. Nah, Boosie hilarious, bro. Nigga said, you need to apologize. You need to apologize to Swiss, nigga, for what you did. Like, nigga... Listen, if Swiss ain't mad, we I can't be mad. Blin. I don't know, Boozy. I don't know, my boy. They said Kiki Palmer, baby daddy, something we're talking about. See? <laughs> nah, facts, though. Us out here breaking up homes, bro. Us out here breaking up happy homes, man. It's like a home record. Beats on the phone with Alicia Keys trying to explain that hood. Sorry, I'm not trying to hear that. Hell nah, bro. Nah, in fact, that's how the, What are you talking about? That's your... That's your... your Y'all was just performing. So why you put your butt on a nigga like that? Like, you gotta go crazy on wifey. Like, come on, wifey. Swiss Beats next time he sees Usher. Your rage says Swiss Beats a better man than me. If this is my wife, I got crash our issues. Fella, this how dudes be on your girl that work. Nah, not the McDonald's meme, bruh. Not the McDonald's meme, bruh. Yo, I don't care where your girl work at, bro. You gotta be careful, bruh. That work bestie shit real. I ain't gonna lie to you. That work bestie shit is real, bruh. It's real. You, they spend a lot of time at work, bruh. They be getting comfortable with these niggas. And these niggas know it. Oh, yeah, boy. Them work boyfriend. We, that's basically what it is. That's her work boyfriend for the day, huh? Javon Tay Davis says Usher would have been on his way to the hospital as I write this if I was Swiss. Nigga, Javon Tank Davis say he'd have gave Usher the hands. Nigga, 
The McMickens. Stop playing, nigga. The McMuffins, nigga. He about to get muffed out. Stop playing with Tank. But listen, man, like I said, Swiss Beast is a stronger man than us, clearly. Than us in the comments, because he ain't mad. Is your key's husband watching the Usher performance at home? <laughs> Funny Mike was wild in that year. He knew he was gonna go viral for years behind this joint. This joint keep getting replayed, him breaking the TV. Oh uh, man, they got the unk reaction in here. Bruh. Bruh. This is supposed to be seeing Usher hug Alicia Keys. <laughs> Nigga kept touching this girl too much. Like, yo, you touching her a lot, boy. I'd have had to say something, though. Some niggas would keep it cool, like, and ask their girl, like, yo, yo, babe, why didn't they keep touching you? Like, not me, nigga. I'm on, like, yo, why you keep touching my girl? You too comfortable touching her. You too comfortable, my nigga. You wanna go outside? <laughs> you know us light-skinned niggas, we be getting, we be feeling the way about our bitch. I ain't gonna lie. You, you touch my hoe, bro. We gotta go. <laughs> Nigga Drewski feeling the way over there. Nah, this see, this is a sensitive nigga, bro. These are the niggas who, cause a real nigga not gonna let none of that rock. He not gonna be outside feeling upset and sad that how best he didn't know. Nigga, he gonna approach it like, what up? What's going on here? See, he keeping his emotions inside, which I guess that's cool. But I gotta let speak through my hands sometimes. I don't know. You ruining my birthday? You standing outside? We supposed to be inside? I'm here. I'm time. here. I'm chilling. Not I'm here. here. <laughs> My son is hating his night. He is not enjoying his night at all after he's seen the bestie come up and damn near grab her cheekage. <laughs> That's him texting her paragraphs. So they're saying this Swiss beast right here with the rifles, the sniper rifle, wherever he at, bro. Nah, Swiss, just wait till they walk off stage and hit that nigga Usher with an uppercut. Nigga, remember how the bus driver did that time? Nigga... Or oh, oh, was it the rings when Shorty got, got knocked out on a train and them rings flew out? The Sonic rings. Knock the Sonic rings out of Usher. Nah, chill. Usher is a national treasure. We love that man. Don't knock that nigga out. Handle that with your wife. You can say, Usher took his shirt off and my bitch just passed out. When she wake up, I'm going to knock her ass out again. Facts. Get your ass back to sleep. Oh, y'all boys abusive. Damn. <laughs> like, nah, of course. We joking. But you fainting off of Usher? You fainting because Usher took his shirt off, bitch? I could have took my shirt off in his house. I'm here in person. You don't ever faint when I take my shirt off. Shit. I know I got a little bit of man titties, but so what, baby? Love this body. I'm yours. Y'all abusive, man. Violence is never the answer. All right, let's get to some other jokes. But um, they say, baby, the microphone is on. And then Alicia came and proved it's definitely on. Ooh, damn boy. Now yeah, yeah, that was when it that was when her voice had cracked in the beginning. I ain't gonna lie, it did start off bad. It did crack. Let's go look. On is on, and then Alicia came and proved it's definitely on. Some people that was the only crack though. I ain't gonna lie. After that, her voice was steady. After that, her performance was amazing. It's just that that very first uh, uh, that shit was crazy. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Prove it's definitely on. Ooh, damn, boy. <laughs> now, my lady did tell me that Alicia Keys may fuck up. But I ain't think she was gonna fuck up like that. Damn, Stacey, your girl predicted it, bro. Your girl predicted it, Stacey. She the reason why. She made her voice crack. You know, She spoke it into existence, Stacey. Homie says, if I send you this, it means we're off to a bad start. Yeah. If I send you this, <laughs> niggas is dumb. <laughs> Bro said, you usher somehow having 16 different outfit changes in the span of like five minutes. Chiefs coach Andy Reid doing Usher's halftime show. <laughs> nah, chill, fool. <laughs> chill out. Chill out, fool. just like that, man, too. Chill out. When you go to the Super Bowl and see Usher, you got to let him know. Bro, watch this real quick. Desi Bates is funny as hell. I got a thing. I ain't gonna lie, I'd have been doing the same thing, bro. If I was there, live, bro, I'm singing every Usher song word for word. I know every Usher song word for word. I'm singing it out loud, too. 
That's right. Get your neighbor involved. Reach over to your neighbor. What they say in church? Reach over to your neighbor. Say hello. Hold your neighbor's hand. This is the equivalent of reaching over to your neighbor, grabbing his hand. I wish he was singing into a female ear, but it's okay. Matter of fact, no, I don't, because uh, a Me Too movement. In this club. Love in this club. Nah, this about shit, I ain't gonna lie. This song is about... <laughs> bro, this type of song that make you fall in love in a club with your shorty, bro. <laughs> That's wild. I know y'all be calling every day. Every day I call her. Every day. Every day I call her. <laughs> now, if I had Usher number, nigga, I'm, nah, I, ain't gonna, I ain't gonna wear it out. Because you know you call a nigga too much, he block your ass. Oh, Oh, you heard that crack again. I ain't no sure he was coming. She don't know who Alicia Keys is, bruh. It be like that, bruh. If you're not a super, super mega star like Usher, some of these white folks don't know you. Man, was that lady in on it, bro? <laughs> I doubt it. I doubt it. She was not in on it. <laughs> That's some funny shit, dog. I know Alicia get butterflies when Usher hug her from behind. Oh, hey, y'all making the bad. <laughs> nah, they saying this is this is Alicia Keys on the inside. This is how she feel on the inside. Meanwhile, she got a husband at home who's supporting her. I hope she don't feel like this on the inside, bro. I hope she like, I'm just performing. I'm just doing my job. I'm just here to support Usher, be a supporting cast. Okay, look at Pat Mahomes Sr. celebrating once again, dog. Hey, man, let him rock, man. Pat Mahomes Sr. deserve it, man. Let him rock. Homie says they better take that nigga keys now. <laughs> if you know, you know that man was just arrested for a DUI. They say Pat Mahomes seeing right now in a Vegas parking garage. Just get into it. Hey, man, as long as he ain't driving, have your fun. But don't drive, man. Listen, man, he's celebrating, bro. He's celebrating, man. His son won. He's celebrating. At the end of the day, bro, he got a reason to celebrate, man. That nigga deserve it. He raised a son who grew up to win an NFL Super Bowl. Plus, he who he is. You know what I'm saying? All right, so Boosie wants some bread on the game, dog. Check this out right here. Pay me! Pay me! I told y'all! Don't bet against Patrick Mahomes! I told y'all! I told him at, at the Super Bowl uh, press run, don't bet against Patrick Mahomes! Nah, y'all should've listened to Boosie, man. Don't bet against pa Patrick Mahomes. He been saying it for a while now. F*** me! What the f*** you mean? Pay me! Yo, Boozy be going wild, bro. Now, he wasn't the only one that betted. Drake wagered over a million dollars, and this was him and Ben and Don waiting for that bet to come through. Let's go! Let's go! Oh, yeah. And hey, we split that million if, if, if we win, ain't it? That little million that yeah, look won. Look at Drake's face, though. The one we had betted on. How much you put in? 15 racks, but I'm saying you go. You compensate for it. Huh? I appreciate it. I appreciate it. No. I appreciate it. We want a million dollars. We want a million. Did Drake want a million dollars? It's like he won two million, really. <laughs> we want a million dollars. We want a million dollars. I'm so happy right now. I don't know how we, how we, how we cash it out. Huh? Who is state? Do we need to talk? No, I'm going to send you the I send you this link, bro. That's like a, the equivalent of a nigga telling you, "Yeah, I'ma sell you later on." Y'all at dinner. He got his phone in front of his face, but he tell you, "Yeah, I'ma sell you later on." You're not gonna sell me because if he was gonna sell me, you'd sell me right now. Just say you want you want me to treat you to a meal, homie. Just say that. I'll take this cash. Yeah, I'll, send you the link. I'll take this cash. I bet. I, it's okay. I take Bitcoin. And we want a million dollars. Give me a hug, baby. We want a million dollars. <laughs> 
I don't know, Ben. I don't think he gonna slide that bridge your way, man. Now, Glorilla also won her own bet she had going on, man. And they also played her song at a Super Bowl, man. That song, yeah, Glow, that shit the banger. I ain't gonna lie. Facts. Yeah, Glow. That song fire. I love it. I ain't gonna lie. I'm rocking with her. I'm rocking with Glorilla, period, bro. I support her. I want to see her win. You know what I'm saying? She that, that song, yeah, Glow, is fire, though. It's out of there. I reacted to that, too. If y'all ain't see my reaction, go tap in. Yo, that song a banger. Now, did y'all bet any money on that game, man? I didn't do any major bets. I, 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 didn't, I didn't bet, bro. I ain't bet. I ain't in a financial position at this time to have bet. Because if I'd have lost, I'd have been mad. Somebody wasn't getting paid. That's a fact. Racked up on Championship Sunday a couple weeks ago. I ain't bad today. Because I knew the 49ers had a better team, but you just can't go against Patrick Mahomes. I literally said that. I thought the 49 I'm like, the 49ers probably going to win because they got a great team. But I guess like everybody's saying, man, don't bet against Patrick Mahomes. I'm glad I didn't. I said, let me just say this one out. But Boosie brings up something interesting right now. Y'all know that performance is the talk of the, talk of the damn town. Usher's performance, but he says this. If R. Kelly would have got in trouble, his songs would be amazing at a Super Bowl halftime show. That's a fact. That ain't no cap. Like, Boozy right. R. Kelly got a catalog like no other. Like, R. Kelly catalog go slap, go crazy. I hear that voice now. I believe I can fly. Step in the name. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch. That'd be a fire. Um, That's a graduation song, but that'd be a fire Super Bowl song. Uh, step in the name of love. Now, of course, I wish, I wish I'm the world's greatest. Fiesta, Fiesta. That's a hit. He can bring Jay-Z out with that. Uh, when a woman loves hers, the same girl bring Usher out. He right. That would have been fire. That would have been a fire lineup. But I ain't gonna lie. Usher lineup is probably better, though. Usher lineup for this Super Bowl was better. Love, I wish, I wish, I wish the world's greatest fiesta, fiesta when a woman loves the same girl and bring Usher out. OMG, let's keep it real. So that's what Boosie said right there. But um, y'all gotta let me know what y'all think. Do y'all agree with Boosie? And if so, it nah, I think it'd have been a dope show, but not better than Usher's though. Usher halftime show is crazy. Also, Usher's performance. The fact that Usher going hit the moves, you know what I'm saying? Usher performs. Not. Let me know who you want to see perform at the halftime of a Super Bowl. I think they're going to New Orleans next year. Lil Wayne would be crazy. But Bro, if they go to New Orleans, they got to do Lil Wayne. They got to somehow include uh, 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 No Limit in there, Master P in them. I mean, maybe not, because, you know, they used to have static back in the day. But if they could, bro, that'd be dope. Go to New Orleans, bring out the whole cash money. Maybe just the whole cash money. Um, But we do need back that ass up. We do need back that ass up. That's a classic. We need that for the 9-9-2000s. You know what I'm saying? But GBK got more of this nasty, man. Shout out to my bro. Yeah, I'm Stacy. Uh, w Video. W Reaction. I'll see y'all in the next one, bros. Everybody have a good day. Love, man. Like the video. Subscribe if you're new around here. We drop daily and we go live damn it every night. So tap in. Like the video. If you ain't uh, acclimated to the channel, get acclimated and stay a while, my boys. See y'all in the next one. Turn post notifications on so you notify when I drop.